Welcome back. My name is Cindy. We're doing a back to basics series. Finally getting around to you pins. This one might be a little longer and also want to tell you that if you have shorter or thinner hair, then stay with me because I'm going to show you some tricks at, towards the end of the demonstration to make these work for you. Okay. Now, we have several different styles of U-pins, which is why this might be a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to show you first three of our basic and most popular ones and how they work. And then I'll go through some of the different styles and options that you have. Okay. Now, uh, my very first one and favorite is the Swerve. I'm just going to do about this much hair for now. I'm just going to twist it into a gentle rope where I'm not pulling my hair, but it is making a nice rope. And I'm just going to twist it around itself. If you can drop a piece, just pick it back up. Okay. Now, this is the full size swerve. I wear this one with all of my hair, with a little bit of my hair for a half up, etc. You name it. But some people prefer, and there you have a bun little mini bun that will stay in all day for you to give that weird look there. If you'll subscribe, you'll see I'm going to put up in the next uh, few days several U-Pin short how-to videos while I have these out. I'm going to go ahead and get those recorded and then I'll get them edited for you over the next few days and post it, okay? Now, if you want something smaller than that, let's see if we can do a little better with how that actually looks. I'm going to tell you what I'm doing in just a minute, so hang tight. This is the small swerve. For comparison, this is the small and this is the regular together. There's quite a bit of difference, a couple of inches, I think. I'd have to look at the measurements. Might be just an inch. So same thing. So I'm putting the smile away from the bun, the curve, touching my scalp, flip and push, and then that will hold, okay? And then that's just a little bit smaller. It doesn't stick out like the large one does. If you're doing a full bun, I would recommend the large one. Now same same look. If you watch in my videos, if you look in my U-Pin playlist, there is a regulation bun how-to. This might be helpful for you if you need to do a ballerina bun or if you are in the service. You probably already know how to do that, but how we do it with these, okay? And then those two small U-Pins do the same hold. So whichever ones you want to go with, whether it be something decorative or not, what we're gonna do now with those same pieces is a French twist or tails up. I'm just gonna make an L, grab, twist. I prefer tails up. You can leave that hair tucked in there if you want to. And same thing, curve away from your twist and then touch your scalp and flip. That's a little tight, so I'm just going to move over a little bit, flip and twist. And now I have a nice secure twist and that will hold my hair up all day long. can do the same thing with the small swerve. Yes, it will hold all of my hair if I get it in correctly. I would prefer this on shorter or thinner hair. It's still there, but it's not quite as snug as the big one because I have so much hair there, but it's still holding. Or I can do one or two of these plain u pins. And 
let's turn around so I'm facing you again and I'll show you some of the different styles. So now we're going to flip my hair completely upside down. I'm just going to twist. I'm kind of putting my finger there to hold it into the place I want it. I'm just going to keep on twisting and go around. Same thing, the curve up away from the bun. Just get a slight diagonal there. Flip, and you're going to feel a gentle tug. If it's pulling or hurting, then you need to stop and maybe move it forward. If you don't feel the gentle pull, then move it backwards. Flip, and then push that in. We're going to grab at the back of the bun, but then I want it to tuck into my hair so you don't see it. You can set them where you can see it if you want. Now, if I want to loosen this up here, I can. I don't really want to this time, but I can't. You can gently just grab some hair and pull. Okay, I'm going to turn my head around now. This range can go anywhere from $9 to about, I think, $24 is the highest I've seen. Um, what I'm going to do is clip... I'm going to try to separate this top layer so I can show you some things with just a little less hair. I don't have extremely even layers. I'm actually going to use this small swerve to hold that back out of the way. Okay. Now. We have a little less hair to deal with now. A cute style right now is little mini space buttons. And so you can leave a little bit of hair dangling down. You can do these with those plain U pins that I showed you. If you want them to kind of stand up a little, you see how I kept my finger in? And then just twist that around. And then you're gonna kind of wrap that around so see how it kind of gives it a little more look to it and I'm going to use my dragons these are no longer available but there is a new one that's called Camelot that is absolutely beautiful it has some beautiful iridescent colors it's a little bit different design it's still a dragon oops a little tricky without a mirror to find so I'm putting it in the band and tucking. I haven't actually done this on my hair with this little bit of hair. So what I want you to do, I'm going to do this one different just so you can see the two different ways to do it. Sorry, I'm peeking around at my mirror so I can do this correctly for you. It's going to look different depending on your hair. I'm going to show you too how to do a sock bun in another video while I have these out. Okay, so now I've just twisted it into a regular bun. Same thing there. So, you can make these decorative or not. And I didn't really get them well on the side, did I? But we can redo those. And then you've got those little mini buns, space buns, whatever you want to call them. And they just pull right out without, um, if you don't wrap your hair around the design, pull right out without ripping all your hair out. Okay, so say I want to just really quick head out the door. Our Lizzie and Missy sets. You can buy these individually or in sets of three. So this set comes with a light tortoise and this set comes with a, a white. So you can take those. And just grab your hair and watch this literally just a quick little twist let's do this one same way it goes in and scoop that in and now you have something a whole lot cuter than a claw clip going into your hair even though my hair looks a hot mess we may just have to take it, even though my hair looks a hot mess we may just have to take it down so you can see get a better look. I'll have to borrow a person with less hair and do this for you another day. 
Okay, so but still, same thing, grab, just twist. This doesn't have to be a good fancy twist, it's a simple twist. You can also use the swerves that I just showed you for this. We also have a new wooden U pen. I have mine on the way, very excited to get that. And so this is really, really surprisingly secure. And I can just go on about my day with my hair. Now, if you want to get all fancy, we move to decorative or beaded swerves. Let's do this. Let me show you just really, you see how much hair is here, right? How much you can really, really do here. So I'm going to smooth all of this hair back. Now I'm not using a comb or a brush, so it's not going to be perfect. But I just want to show you how secure. So let's say you wanted to do a secure bun. Preferably, I'm going to have this a little bit damp so that those loose little frizzy spots don't hang out, okay? And that's also going to help your bun stay tighter. If you need to stick a bobby, if you have loose pieces, you can just stick a bobby pin in right there if you really, really need it to stay um, without any stray strands. If you have layers especially. If you don't have layers, it's probably not going to be an issue. So now, you see the ends sticking out there? I want those hidden. So I'm just going to adjust that. And now I have a beautiful secure bun that will hold me all through the evening or day or whatever I want it to. Another pretty way to wear that is on the side. Part your hair however you want it. Do a little zigzag here. I'm not going to go through all of that. So another way to make sure you get a really good tight bun is to separate. If you have thick long hair, separate and then twist like this into a rope. Let me raise up so you can see that. Okay, and now just continue twisting. And I'm tucking those little ends in. Use a comb if you need to. Let's do this pretty green one. This is called Ivy. It's I-V-E-Y on the website. There's another style of something else. I think it's a clip. Or maybe Bobby's called Ivy, I-V-Y. But this one's I-V-E-Y. And now I have last minute plans. Don't want that again. Actually, wouldn't that be pretty showing up front? So just kind of feel where those prongs are coming and then make sure that they're buried. And there you go. All right, you've got a beautiful, beautiful bun, secure, without worrying about your hair falling down. If you have layers, it's very simple to add a plain or decorative bobby pin over here to secure those and keep that from falling out, okay? If you have no layers, this should hold just fine for you with no problem. And then if you'd like, you can add a headband. We call them hair bands. I'm gonna do a video of those in just a minute, but that won't be up probably for a couple of days because the editing just takes time. But just an idea of what you can do by adding things to that, okay? Let me show you again some of the different styles. Okay, so we have beaded swerves. That was the U pin that I showed you first. Decorative. Oh, this is this one I think is called Freestyle. One of definitely a crowd favorite. If you don't have that one, you want to check it out. It goes with everything. You can wear that every day. Um, pairs that you can mix match. I actually have one that's a unicorn that's really fun to mix and match with the dragon. Uh, I can't I think this one's called a Haven. I think it's still available. 
can't remember what this one's called. I could find it for you. This one is available from me. I don't think it's on the website, but there is a moon and something one. This is a Dakota Star. I think it's called actually Dakota, but it's a Western Star. So these come in pairs, and they also come in two different sizes. I thought I had one of a different size. I don't, but you can see this is the Lux. This is the short size Lux, and this is the long U pen. So you can see the difference in the sizes there. So if you have thinner hair, you might like this shorter version better. Or if you know you're just going to do like a half up, then you might like that better. So my point is that the U pens are amazing. It is the very first product that I ever purchased, and still to this day one of my very favorites because there are so many options. We also have several just simple metal. U pens that have just a little bit of something something to them so if you have questions about how to get those to work let me know I'm really excited about the wooden ones I think they're really pretty let's see what else can I show you real quick with this oh ponytail yes you can like the swerve could literally be this is me down selling you instead of up selling you okay yeah, I do that. It's a bad habit when you're trying to sell things, right? So take a band of hair, wrap it around your ponytail. Like the Swerve could be literally the only hair accessory you ever need again. If you're a minimalist type person or like simple things, look, you can make that band dramatic or not. I'm just going to use the short one. This is the small Swerve. I haven't actually tried this yet, so let's see. So I'm going to put that in the band. Touch my scalp, flip, push that backwards, and I don't know how to explain this without you hearing it or feeling it, but as I push, I'm going to feel kind of a little pop, and that's how I know that it's in place. Pop. And that's how I know that it's in place. And it's going to stay all day. It's my party pony for my ponytail. I can do double ponytails with this. Uh, twist braids up whatever so if you're a minimalist person and don't like a lot of decoration to your hair I want you to look at the Lux U pins set I think they come in twos maybe fours but I think they come in pairs that's really all you need um, the small swerve and the swerve so the small swerve for thinner shorter hair the regular swerve for basically any hair type. Literally, I've seen two-year-olds wear the regular size swerve. So don't think that it's too big for you, but I do have a lot of customers that prefer the smaller size, okay? And yes, that will actually hold my ponytail all day long. So that's it for you pins. Uh, make sure and go watch this full playlist of Back to Basics so that you can see which styles are gonna be best for you and all of the different things that you can do with them. Be sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing some shorts with just a quick how-to of basic styles like that ponytail that I just did. It'll just have that or a twist or something like that with you pins. And then the next back to basic video will be hair bands. And then I think we've covered everything except for scarves. And I don't think I'm quite ready to do that because I'm not really good with scarves. So. I just tie them around my head. So if you'd like to see some scarf styles, I'll be happy to learn them for you. We do have several now available on the website and lots of also hair products like a hair mask, sea salt spray, rose water, and dry shampoo. My household uses the rose water and dry shampoo and love them both very, very much. I do love the sea salt, but obviously I don't need sea salt in my hair so if you're looking for something to add some texture or something like that then the sea salt might be right for you. I'm not going to do a back to basics on those products because I don't feel that I am qualified to educate you as well on them but if you do have questions I will do my best to answer them. If I can't answer them I will find the answer for you because I have an amazing team behind me. All right I'll see you next time. My name is Cindy. I am the godmother of the Messy Bun Mafia and protect this hair I will.